Hi guys, I am back with another video and today's video is going to be on the best way to land an influencer virtual assistant job. The little cute trick in there to make sure that you make a lasting impression and get the dream gig your dream gig. If you are new here to my little side of the internet, my name is Kate Christine. I'm an influencer virtual assistant and I am building a business all about influencer virtual assisting and I come from a very small town. I didn't even know that this was a possibility. I literally just kind of stumbled into this gig and so I am literally trying to share it with as many people as possible because it is such a growing and needed industry and it is my dream job. Like I love my job. I love everything that I do for work. People I get to work with are amazing. And so I'm just trying to share that with as many people as possible. So through my years of experience, I have learned a few tricks of the trade to make sure that you make a really good first impression on when you are first reaching out to somebody about your, um, the role you want for an influencer virtual assistant role or just a normal virtual assistant role. This kind of applies to that. So, the best way to land a good job is the initial contact. This changes everything. This makes everything. So what I recommend is emailing them. I know that can be kind of old school. A lot of people Instagram DM now, but your girl doesn't have a lot of Instagram followers. If you look at my Instagram, you're like, is this a fake account? Is this not a fake account? I'm not super active on Instagram, not TikTok. That's a different story. But Instagram, my Instagram's not really popping. Um, so emails. Email is not dead. These influencers, the more I've learned about their industry, they are in their emails every second of the day or multiple seconds a day. <laughs> so emails is where they get their collabs. It is where they talk to their manager. It's where they talk to their agency. So they are checking their emails multiple times a day. Like I can tell you that for a fact. So if you send them an email, they're going to see it. They may not open it. It kind of depends if you got a catchy, an eye catching title, but they're going to see it. By God, they will see it. So, or the assistant will say it <laughs> at least. So what I recommend doing is how my winning subject line is um, high exclamation mark. And that is no joke. That is how I've gotten many of my clients. A lot come from referrals now, but in the beginning, that is how I got it. Or you could do something catching like your future virtual assistant. Like that would be cool. Like I like high because they don't know what they're getting into. They're clicking it, thinking maybe it could be a collab. Maybe th thinking maybe it could be like a gifting. But no, it's me, it's Kate, and then I give my little blurb. But um, if you did that, your future virtual assistant, that would be kind of cool. I could see them liking that like inside, like you already know what you're gonna be. Um, so do something eye-catching like that. If you're wanting something easy, go for the high exclamation mark. So that is the first most important to get them to open the email. And the second most important is to have a good email body. We are not writing a six page email. Uh -uh. They ain't got time for that. Nobody has time for that. I recommend doing a very short blurb and I will include down below in the description of my blog post that I have. And so you can like read all of this out and I have directions on how to find the emails of people you want and all that good stuff. But basically, I don't have it right here, so I, but I'll try to recite it from heart. I say like, hi, my name is Kate Billington. I am an influencer, a virtual assistant who um, like does blah, 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 blah. I typically like offer like some of the services. Like we do a lot of like LTK management, Amazon storefront, managing uh, emails, DMs. If you would like to get a better grasp for what I do, feel free to check out the few slides below and I look forward to hearing from you. Um, so that is typically how, like what my email body kind of consists of. That was a little bit of a rough draft. And then the at the bottom, I attach some Google slides and these Google slides are like a little portfolio. I include a picture of myself. It's very important to have either a picture of yourself, a video of yourself. You could also, instead of a portfolio, just like attach a YouTube video kind of and you talking. Um, but I find that that's really important because this is a purely online interaction. Like I've never met my clients in person. Hopefully I will one day because I love all of them. But at the moment in time, like I have not. So they've only seen me obviously over the internet. So I really think it's important for them to be able to attach like a face to the name, to the words that they're reading from you. And so in my portfolio, I just have, I have it right here, Kate okay, Christine services. And then I have a thing that says who we are, services we offer, work history highlights. That is so important in this industry. References are everything. Everything. There is like 
these girls make their money from their social media, obviously. And social media comes with passwords and information that you need to access. And if something were to happen to that, like that could be their career is gone. And so they, if they are trusting you with their passwords, they are trusting you with their life. So it is so important to have reputable references. And if you are just new to this industry, include some of your previous work references or just people who can vouch for you being like trustworthy and just like confident and nice and just i don't know just able to like really take care of that valuable information and then after that i have what us look working with us looks like and on that i just have like intro call match up with one of the gals and then begin work at the end i just have a thanks so much slide with my email on it so uh, through all of that having a good subject line having a good email body and attaching a portfolio or a youtube video those are the keys to landing a job. And I promise you, you will have the greatest success in following those. And like I said, I'll have a blog post down below with all this information on it. And if you're looking to become an influencer virtual assistant and want a kind of step-by-step -step version, feel free to check out my influencer virtual assistant course. I'll also have that link down below that kind of walks you through. Or if you're not interested in that, you can find a lot of information for free here on my YouTube channel, my blog, or my TikTok over on that. Hey, Christine VA. So thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.